please? Come on, everybody. ¿Ya está? Alexa, Jocelyn, Magarena, Miguel, Wells, José Gómez, Joshua, creo que se fue al baño. Ok, abrimos nuestras cámaras. Come on, everybody. Uh, let's start today. Bien, the last class, la clase pasada les dejé a uh, reading, una lectura ahí para leer. Profe, pero es que no, recién llego. Ah, oh, ¿y ahí qué tiene que ver Miguel? No te entiendo. Ah, pensé que me estaba preguntando a mí sobre acá. Ay, ah, ya no, Miguel, le he dicho que abra su webcam, tu cámara, vamos, quiero verte. A ver, ¿qué peinado se ha hecho? Ay, <ríe> Miguel, hello, good morning. Ok, chicos, so... La semana pasada les dejé una lectura, ¿verdad? Una lectura de libro. Do you remember? Ok. A ver. ¿De qué trata la lectura? ¿Qué vieron? You can tell me in Spanish, ¿ah? Huh? If you want. Si quieres en inglés, en español, me lo puedes decir. La idea es que me muestres qué leíste. Ok. What is the lecture about? ¿De qué fue la lectura? Remember, raise your hand. Tell me. Okay, any volunteer or llamo, chicos, vamos. Yes, Joshua, what is the, what is the story about? Uh, well, the, the text that we can see in the page number 13, um, I think this, this text talk of, uh, talks about uh, the life of Viola Davis. Mm -hmm. Like she, um, her childhood and other aspects about the his life your life like yes. your family and other things and also uh, this text includes uh, some part of his high school time so mm -hmm. actually it can be a biography or something relationated with that yes that's true yes it's like yeah biography something like Something like that. Very good. Very good. Let's talk about, about Davis' life, Viola Davis' life, right? Okay, so look at that. Look at the pictures that is about the story. Look at the pictures, okay? Yo me imagino que ahora me soy the pictures and, the re and reading everything. So what do you think the test is about? Viola Davis life or movies that Viola Davis has starred in. What do you think the test is about? A or B? A. 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 A that's right. A. So let's underline, please, guys. Underline letter A. Okay. Underline, or you can make a circle in the letter A. That's okay. So very good. So you have an idea now what is the test about, right? So now let's gonna make the comprehension part. But first let's gonna listen, okay? Let's gonna listen to the story really quick. Unit one, track 10, activity two. Then and now, and this week it's Viola Davis. When most people think of Viola Davis, they think of a successful, talented actor who's really cool. She's the star of movies like Fences and Solaris. She often acts in movies and series, and she's traveled abroad many times as a result. She owns a multi-million dollar mansion in Toluca Lake, Los Angeles, and has her own star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. However, Viola's life wasn't always like this. She didn't have an easy childhood. Viola was born in St. Matthews, South Carolina, on her grandmother's farm. When she was just two months old, her parents moved to Rhode Island, taking her and two of her sisters. Her older sister and brother stayed back in South Carolina with her grandparents because her family was extremely poor. At the age of two, Viola was arrested with her mother, who used to participate in demonstrations organized by the African-American Civil Rights Movement. Her family was so poor that they didn't have enough food at home. Viola says she was constantly hungry at school and couldn't fulfill her learning potential because of that. However, in high school, she developed a passion for acting, and that's how her career began. 
she got a scholarship to study drama at college and at drama school in New York. At first, she worked in minor theater productions. Her first role on screen was in 1996, and soon she was acting on Broadway and being invited to star in movies and television series. She has been nominated for three Oscars and won one in 2017. She is the only black person to date to win an Oscar, an Emmy, and a Tony Award. She has settled down and, along with her husband, actor Julius Tenen, adopted a daughter named Genesis. However, her career continues to thrive, and she now fights to combat childhood hunger in the U.S. Okay, that's a nice story. That's a real story, too, right? So now let's going to do the compensation part, okay? So here. Choose the correct words. Do you remember? This is best. Okay. So look at that. Viola was or wasn't. Okay. What is the meaning of that? Wealthy, right? Wealthy. Wealthy. Okay. Wealthy. What is the meaning of wealthy? ¿Qué significa, chicos? Wealthy. Any of you? Wealthy is a person who has many money, many money. Okay, it's adinerada, wealthy. So, Viola was or wasn't wealthy when she was a child? What do you say? Wasn't. wasn't, that's right. Wasn't, wasn't. She was poor actually, right? Was, okay, letter B. Viola did or didn't do very well at school? Did or didn't, didn't do. do very well? What do you think? Viola did or didn't do very well at a school? Didn't do. Didn't do, that's right. Because she didn't eat very well, no? No comía muy bien, no se alimentaba. Y esto no hacía que ella obviamente tuviera un buen desempeño in the school. So she didn't do very well, very well at a school. Let her see. Viola went or didn't go to college? Mm. What do when. you say? When? Mo even? Oh. Even? I'm sorry? Your child? Uh, after the uh, uh, there. Okay. No, 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 and letter E, Viola has or doesn't have a daughter? Has. 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 Actually, she has more than one daughter, right? Más de una hermana. Okay, number four. I'm sorry, más de una hija. Ah, no, I'm sorry, just one, right? Wasn't a doctor, no? No hija adoptiva. Okay. Pero ese sí, sir, pensé que había leído acá. Answer the questions. Okay, vamos chicos, and online all the answers. Subrayamos in our book. Aquellos que se están integrando. Good morning. Y estamos on the page. What is the number of the page? 13, crown? 13, 14? 13. 13, thank you. Yes. No, 13. 13, right? 13. 13. 13. Okay, so underline, yeah. please. It's ready. I'm going to count on your file. One, two. Three, four, and five. Finish. Okay. So let me take it off everything. Borro. Como borro. Ya. No, 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 so now, just Miguel, tell me. Nothing? No, nothing? <laughs> okay, Miguel. Answer the question. 
Where does Viola own a, man, a, man, a mansion? Where? Where does Viola own? Where? Hoy eh. soy yo, que okay. no escucho, chicos. Eso es um, Viola has a mansion on Toluca Lake. Okay, and that's the place in Los Angeles, right? That's the place. Los Angeles and Toluca Lake. But your answer is okay, yeah? Your answer is okay. But the exactly place, okay, the city or the states, no? Because Los Angeles is an estado in the United States. Okay, is that place. Okay, so write your answer, please. Letter B. What happened when she was two, two years old? What happened? She. Mm. She. Arrested. She, okay, when she was two, what are they dos años? I don't see. So. Arrested uh, with her, her mother. Okay, okay. Yes, somebody else over there. Her mother is arrested. Yes, and that's true. The other guy too, quien participó antes, yes, that's true. Her mother, right? And you told me arrest her mother. Yes, that's good anyway. Do, she got arrest with her mother, actually. Si es verdad, no? En realidad le arrestaron a ella con su mamá. So that's what's true. She got arrest with her mother. Letter C. When did she develop a passion for acting? When did she develop in high school? And Tokula, Los Angeles? Ah, no. Pardon. Yes, letter C, yeah, letter C. When? Yes, when she was in the high school. That's why. Why she was in high school? It's the same, actually. Ojo que estas son oraciones que te guían, ¿ah? You can, if was your own answer, you can write your own answer anyway. Okay, who did she marry? What is the name of his, she, her husband? What is the name of her husband? Um, Julius Tennant. Yes, the actor Julius Tennant. Very famous, no? He's very famous. The actor Julius Tennant. Okay, and uh, has Mayola won any awards? Has Viola won yes, any uh, awards? Yes. He, what award? Oscars and Oscar. um, Many, actually, right? Yes, she has won several, several, muchos, several awards. Okay, several awards. No, de verdad, yo tengo que felicitar a cuarto, uno, porque lee. Dos, porque realmente ayuda a hacer la comprensión. De verdad, yo los felicito, chicos, ¿ah? porque ahorita acabo de quinto. Ya les he dicho ya que van a venir a clases presenciales en la tarde conmigo, si es que no se ponen las pilas. Acá, de verdad, yo encuentro un buen nivel de inglés. ¿ah? Y si eso significa leer todos sus mensajes en WhatsApp, <risa> no importa. Pero la idea es que me participen en clase, and that's good. So, que lo demás ya no importa, es parte de su estrés. Estamos bien, I'm happy, very good, we are playing. That's okay. Mientras no hayan ofensas, everything is okay. Ok, no importa, ahí ya después leeré cada uno de los mensajes, porque si sí los leo, ¿ah? Sí los leo, por si acaso, ¿ah? Ok, but the idea is that you participate. Everybody, in a way correct or mis making mistakes, no importa, pero la idea es participar. Good. Así que tengo que felicitarlos ahí. Ok, good. Ready? We finished the copy. Yes, Joshua. Sure? Nothing. I want to, I want to express that I, I have finished. <laughs> okay. Finishing. Finish. Yes. Okay. Yes, everybody finish. Okay. So let's go to the next part. Okay. So, find words and phrases a to E in the test and match them to the definitions from one to five. How do you say them in your language? Okay, look at, look at childhood. What does it mean childhood? Childhood? Infancia. That's right, very good. 
demonstrations. I guess that um, is easy to understand, right? Yes. Number five. That's right. Potential. Um, Potential. Yes. Yeah. Scholarships. Scholarships. Number one. Makeup. <laughs> <laughs> okay, number one. Does they know but what does it mean a scholarship? What does it mean? Um, Beca. Colegiatura, no? Okay. Yes, that sometimes is free. Okay. And what does it mean drive? Uh, mm. Nothing. Drive, 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 drive. Así la pronunciación parece como que manejar, Pero, right? Sí, yo es manejar. Prosperar. Make your quality of life better. Okay. So now let's gonna relay numbers with letters. Number one, money given by an organization to someone for their studies. What is that? Scholarship. Yes, scholarship. Very good. For the school. Ya otra pero in esta pero hoy día en no voy a decir la palabra, no. Está pero acelerado, amigo. That's good, yeah? Very good. Ok, number two. To grow or Potential. become successful. Which one? Sorry. Potential. Potential. I don't think so. A ver, vamos a dejarlo al final, ¿ya? Yeah? Number Por three. Mrs. Es drive. Yes. That's right. To grow and become successful. That's right. Very good. That's, so that's number two. Okay. Number three. Ability to do something that has not yet been realized. Potential. potential. Yes. Very good. That's protein, potential. I guess. Right. Creo. Huh? Okay. Number four. The years when you are a child. Uh -huh. Childhood. Oh, yeah, child. Childhood, that's right. Events where a mass of people put forward political demands. That's demos. That's That's good. Very good. Very good. Okay, chicos, ustedes son grupo uno, grupo dos, porque estoy mareada. Grupo uno, grupo dos. Oh, yeah. The best group. El mejor mío es the best group. The best group. The best group. Number. No, el grupo dos también es bueno, ¿ah? Por eso yo digo cuarto cuando me refiero a ustedes. Grupo dos también, yes. It's really good. Mentira. Ay, Fernando. Fernando, estás en el grupo uno, ¿no? No tengo a nadie aquí del grupo dos, ¿verdad? No, Fernando is. Fernando is from uh, number two. En el grupo dos. Fernando is from number, for the group number two. Yes, Fernando. Yes. ¿Qué pasó, Fernando? Ah, me dice que mañana te voy a... Es que me dice que mañana quiero, te quiero dormir un ratito. ¿Qué cosa? <risa> Ay, Fernando. A ver, pero Fernando, ¿mañana no tienes que ir a la escuela? O oh, perdón, el día viernes no tienes que ir tú a la escuela. Pero no, mi... Nosotros no, tenemos que ir. Ellos van. Hoy día... Ah, ok. Tú lo que has hecho es terminar rápido tu clase y te has ido corriendo a... Sí, ya. Está parando, pero voy a apuntarlo, ¿ah? porque si no, mañana te voy a poner en asistencia. Voy a apuntar acá que has asistido. No pueden hacer eso, Fernando, ¿ah? por esta vez lo voy a pasar. Tienen que respetar su horario. Lisa. Ya, a ver. We are on the, el, ¿Ese es el grupo? Uno. Uno, ya. Fernando asistió fuera de horario. No, mentira. No, bueno, para tomar la asistencia mañana, Fernando, porque si no, te iba a poner falto ahí. Ya, yeah. that's okay for this time, por esta vez. Pero hazme saber, ¿ah? Porque si no, eh, no, mira. Esta no, esta no, esta no, esta mañana yo, yo entro, mis. ¿También? Sí, mis. Para participar más, dice Fernanda. No, pues si en eso... Mi se... dice que quiere aprender todo ahorita para que mañana... Bueno, eso es lo que si tú deseas. Pero voy a, voy a hacer lo mismo, Fernando. Ok, te voy a tomar en cuenta tus asistencias. De todas maneras, el día de mañana por la de hoy. Don't worry, ok. Bien. Reading a strategy. Full friends are words with a similar spelling but different meaning in another language. Parents can be false friends as it looks similar to some words in Latin language that can have different meanings. 
Okay, chat for the possibility or different needs. Yes, parents, right? Parents, when you listen parents, nosotros lo relacionamos a parientes, ¿verdad? Pero, no, that's me, that's me, parientes. That's me, padres, right? So, eso es lo que llamamos un full friends. Son aquellas palabras que en nuestro lenguaje suenan similar, pero en inglés tienen un significado diferente. Okay, so it's just a reading strategy. Okay, so let's continue working now. Today we have to work the simple, la semana pasada trabajamos el simple past. ¿Se acuerda? The affirmative, the negative, the interrogative, yes or no questions. Okay, so today we're going to finish this activity. No lo terminamos, esta actividad no terminamos, and let's going to finish today. Okay, so let's see. Complete the mini bio biography, I mean, with the simple past four of the verse in parentheses, the simple past. For example, Penelope Cruz has, I'm sorry, Penelope Cruz was born, was born significa nació, chicos, y siempre se va a decir así, ¿eh? was born. I was born in Lima. You were born, you were born, porque tienes que combinar ahí was or where. You were born in the United States, for example. Okay, so let's continue. Was born in Spain in 1974. When she was younger, she went. Okay, un ratito. Once. What is the past of one, Muriel? Ah, I see. One dead. Yes, wanted. Y se pronuncia así, ¿eh? wanted, por si acaso. Good. Let's continue. To be a like that. And she... And she... Started. Very good. And started. she started. Very good. And she started. Then, and she started ballet for many years. Then she... Decided. 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 Este suena la D, no suena, sino es como el que el sonido fonético lo más, ¿no? Decide. D. D. No. Pronuncio la D sin vocal. Teacher, teacher. Yes, Joshua, tell me. Teacher. Yes, tell me. Miguel, Miguel, I'm sorry. Api. 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 I'm sorry. Ah, oh, okay, the next one, the next one, right? Uh, yes. She appeared, appeared. Okay, good, good. Yes. She appeared in a music video for the group Mecano when she, good Diego, was. when she was very good. When she was only 15, okay, she Make it. made. made. Made with D, right? Made. It is irregular. Uh, made her first movie in 1992 at the age of 17 and became. 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 Perfect. Became. That's the best of become, right? <laughs> began. I'm sorry. Began. Became. Okay. Famous as a result. She won. won. Oh, you make it okay? <laughs> No, she won, that's right. She won an Oscar for Best Supporting Actress in 2008. She started. 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 Okay. She started going out with an actor, Javier Bardem, in 2007, and they got. got. Got they got married in 2010 and had two babies. Okay, very good. Okay, complete, please. Come on, guys, they're finished to complete there.
Hmm. My name is Michi. Espero que los que están escribiendo sean del otro grupo y no los que estamos aquí, ¿no? Because yes, we are in class. <laughs> okay, very good. So let's go to the next activity. Okay. So, complete the statements and questions about Penelope Cruz in the simple past tense. Simple past tense, okay? Look at that. Okay. Yes, Yeshua. Did she win any Academy Awards? Okay, very good. Did Penelope, okay, that's okay, Joshua. Did she, okay, or oh, did Penelope Cruz a complete way? Yes, it's okay, both. Cualquiera de los dos puedes poner, okay? Did Penelope Cruz win any Academy uh, uh, Awards? Yes, she won the Academy Awards for Best Supporting Actress in 2008, Phil, Vicky, Cristina, Barcelona. Look at that, Penelope Cruz, Salma Hayek. And what is the other actor? How se llama ese actor mexicano que hace del burro en Shrek? ¿Cómo se llama? What is the name? Eugenio Derbez. Eugenio Derbez. Eugenio Derbez. Uh, there is another. Hay otra también que actúa bastante en series. Oh, the Colombian girl. The Colombian girl. Es una actriz también very famous in the United States. In the media. Sofía ¿no? Delgado. Sofia Vergara, that's right. They are real examples that you can speak really good, actually. Si nosotros evaluamos incluso su pronunciación, like a teacher, ¿no? Y son personas que han aprendido a hablar inglés, no al 100% a la perfección, pero sí, en realidad, miren, ve cómo se han podido integrar en este medio, ¿no? Ok, de, de actuación, and whatever, y tantas cosas, ¿no? In another country. So, it's no, actually, it's no impossible to learn a new language. Realmente no es hablarlo, no, no es imposible hablarlo, hablarlo a la perfección. ¿no? You, you propose that, you can do it. Ok, letter B. Did she marry Tom Cruise? No. She didn't. No, she didn't. She married. With married. Very good. She married Javier Barbie. No, she didn't. She married Javier Barbie. Letter C. Who? Was. Mm. I don't know you in that part. Who was within Loving Pablo? Who, 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 who? I guess, con quien, a, con quien, a start, creo, mira, look at a start. This is a very, who, who did she start, okay? Who did she start with in Loving Pablo? Con ella actuó, ¿no? Something like that. Who did she star with the loving public? That's okay. She star in the movie with Javier Bardi. Okay, letter D. When, look at that where that was. When, when was that? Uh, was, was, that's it. When was that? That was in 2007. Okay, finish the copy, please. And I have a question. Yes, Joshua, tell me. Um, so in the part of the exercise C, uh, in the part of did she star, is star mm -hmm. mean, star, that word means estrella. Yes. Isn't it? But in this case means protrary. Eh, yes. protagonista o algo referido a eso. Yes, something like that. It's referred to be part of acting of a movie, something like that, yes. Have different meanings, Joshua. This word have two different meanings. Okay, ready? Let's go to the next part, okay?
Do this sentence as for a single finished action in the past. Ok. Ah, ya. Esto ya es parte de nuestra sesión de hoy. So let's analyze, let's explore. Vamos a explorar. This. Do this sentence express single finished action in the past? Finish single actions in the past. Ok, I refer, cuando digo acciones terminadas en el tiempo pasado, son acciones que no están en desarrollo, que terminaron, que no era un hábito de la, del, del pasado, sino que fue una acción que se hizo así de manera, eh, ¿cómo te podría decir? De manera directa, ¿no? Por ejemplo, yo bailé, yo caté, ¿no? No digo, I was living, por ejemplo, yo estuve viviendo, eso no sería una acción finish, a finish action in the past, ¿no? O no digo, yo solía, no, no hablo de una situación en el cual, no sé, yo tenía un hábito en el pasado. Hablo de una acción que se dio en su momento de manera fría y terminó. <laughs> Something like that. Ok. So, the question is, do these entities express single finish action in the past? Let's gonna make a tick or S if no. Letter A, what do you see? Jennifer Lawrence dropped out of the school at the age of 14. This is a Finish action or no? Yes. Like finish. Yes, finish. it's a finish action. That's right. Letter B. Viola's mom used to practice in civil rights demonstration. Is a finish action or no? False. False. No. Yes. No. no. Yes. No. Letter Z. Viola got a scholarship to study drama. Finish action? Mm, yeah. or no. Yes. Yeah. That's right. Yes. Letter D, Penelope Cruz used to study classical ballets. No. No, that's right, no. And at the age of 25, Penelope Cruz moved to Hollywood. Mm, yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's right. So, si nos ponemos a pensar, right? If you analyze the structure, las estructuras, una acción finish in the past, están escritas en pasado sí, ¿no? Look at that. Jennifer, drop out. What does mean drop out? Do you know what, what does mean drop out? Abandonó, ¿no? Ok. Jennifer Lawrence, drop out. Ok. Viola, got. What else? Penelope Cruz, move. ¿No? Sin embargo, ¿qué pasa con las otras dos oraciones? What is the sentence? Viola, used to participate, miss. This is a habit, yes. Es un hábito del pasado, claro, ¿no? Eh, what else? Penelope Cruz, used to study. Es a habit, miss. No puede ser, un, no puede ser una finish action in the past. ¿Ok? So our class, our grammar for today is used to. We're gonna work used to. So let me introduce, okay. Let me introduce your. What are we gonna do today? Ah, in the fourth primary. Okay, so. Everything is on your seat wet, por si acaso, ¿eh? lo que te voy a mostrar. Used to. What is our objective this class is that you understand the very use in simple past in the way affirmative, negative, and interrogative, okay? This is our objective. What is our conditions? Nuestras condiciones de calidad que puedas emplear las reglas gramaticales y ortográficas que te voy a enseñar. Ok. So, nuestros recursos, nuestro PowerPoint y nuestro libro que vamos a usar hoy día. ¿Y cuáles son nuestras opciones? Obtén la información, intégrala y utilízala. Ok. So, that's our objective for today. Este es nuestro propósito de aprendizaje. Ok. Acá está el instrumento y están todas las fases que, mira, desde que hemos empezado, de la lectura and what else. Salimos, chicos, volvemos a ingresar. I didn't take list two. No he tomado asistencia. Okay, so see you.